calculating dates within a list uh, is very important for many people and there's two ways that we're going to review today one is that we're going to key in um, using a normal date field and adjust the condition of that date field so that it automatically populates and then the second example that we're going to give is using a uh, calculated field and going from there so stay tuned we're going to jump right to this so the first thing let's go ahead and create this it's pretty simple here we're going to do our first example we're just going to create a date and time and we're going to we want the time to be zero so we're just going to put here date day zero and what we're creating here is kind of a um a notification for dates so let's say that this report here was a was a report for um i don't know maybe a task list or something that you needed to do and you want to be able to say hey send me a reminder when all of these hit day 14 this is the way you do it and this is kind of the first step we do within within the list itself and then we go to flow so here we have day zero the default value we could pick today's date but we're going to do this all through calculated values today just to kind of give you an example of what that looks like and here we're just going to um, put in this right here equals now so that will give us today's date when that when that is entered, it's going to give us day zero. And now let's put in um, day, let's just say day seven. So here, I'm just going to put in day seven. Just This is just for our example here. And we're going to go down here. Again, we're going to use a calculated value. But this time, we're going to, e we're going to equal this to um, now plus seven. Now, this is an important distinction because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a moment with a calculated field, but it's important distinction here. This is saying that now, meaning today's date plus seven, so the date that the record was created plus seven days. So do you even need a day zero? You may not, So, but sometimes we like to see it. So I'm just gonna hit save and now we've got that date. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. We're gonna edit this and we're just gonna put in test, okay? And then we're gonna put in, um, and then that's it. Now do you automatically see that the date changed for us? It went to 620, went to 627. What you did not see, and watch this, test two, notice here that you can put in a date so you can override your automation with this and say, okay, I wanna do the 13th. Then when I hit tab to go to the next one, I can override this date as well. So this may not work for you if you think people are gonna do that. Hit tab and then now it's gonna automatically calculate. But remember, it's calculating based on seven days from the date of entry. So seven days from the date of entry and the date of entry is 620. So although I put 613 here, you would think we'd get seven days, which would make it 620, it does not. So that's just something to just kind of be aware of in this example, we're gonna exit and keep those records in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a calculated field and we're gonna key in on day zero, okay? So we could key in on well let's do two we'll do one on day zero but remember we still have that day zero problem with somebody changing it but we could give them the freedom so let's do the first one here we're going to go down here to more and we're going to say calculated when it comes up right there and we're going to put here we're going to put here whoops day um calculated day seven so we're going to do that now do you notice here when we come down to our columns we our formula excuse me we have a couple options here so i'm going to do this we're going to say here by created day seven okay or no we're going to say 
calculate based on day zero, day two, day seven. Okay, that's getting a little confusing. But so to do that based on day zero, we're just going to double click on this guy and we're going to say plus seven. Now, the important thing is, which I forget most of the time, got to hit date and time. I usually keep it as date, hit OK. OK, now notice here what we have. We have day zero here at 620 and it's good, 627. But notice here that it, because we're keying in on whatever date this is, so I can change this, it's just doing a seven day back. So if I go there, okay, it's going to change it to 617 because it's calculating on whatever day I put here. So you got to think about what it is that you want to do and how you're going to use the information. I'll give you a few tips here in just a minute, but let's add one more here and let's calculate this based on now. So I'm just going to put in now because I know what that means to day seven or actually we don't want it now let's put new we're going to go here to calculate it now notice here that one of my options here is created so i can key immediately in on the created field so i'm just going to say give me that field and then add seven okay so whenever it was created add seven again don't forget to do this hit okay let's go ahead and see what that looks like here notice that this does not matter what I've done here. Okay, I can move it to the first. Okay. And as I go through. Okay, I'm just going to click there. Now notice that it did the calculation. This is a calculation from day zero, taking this field input putting it over here. So that's that calculation. And you're going to have to go back in the video to view the formulas. Here, remember, we're just day seven, okay, based on the date that it's being put in, right, the created date. And this is also, this is, but this is a, um, this is a field that we're using. Remember, we used, uh, it's a problem, you can't really see it, but, uh, oh yeah, good. okay, you can. This is using this now. So that's saying whenever that that field is created plus seven, which is basically what this is doing as well. So this is keying in on a calculated field that appears inside. So I could say here, add more column types. And when I go down to, um, whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Oh, sorry about that. All right, data tests. All right, so add new column. And I want to say more. No, I'm sorry, show hide columns. I did that. I almost did that twice. See here the created date. I'm going to click on created and hit apply. Notice it won't show a date, but it's going to show the minutes, right? It'll show the date eventually. That's what this field and this field here are keying in on. They're keying in on this created field. So anyways, the other the last thing I'll say on this is let's say we want to add test three. When you're using fields that are that you've put a formula inside of the field, right? Non-calculated field like these two right here, I can change. I have the freedom to do whatever I want within that field. But notice when I get to the calculated fields, it does not let me do anything. Okay, so because it's read only. And so for some, for some of your people, this is going to be the way to go, right? Where you want a calculated field and lock it down. You can use these as well. And notice that this put in today's date, right? So I didn't have to do any of this. If you want to use the formula fields in Excel, then you'll want to use a front end to your data, like a power app, for example, that you can kind of adjust and, and gauge what data is being entered where. Um, but if you want to use a list like you're using here, you'll want to use a calculated field.